So I just wanted to do a quick video about my top everyday carry pens or EDC pens of 2018. And I know a lot of people think an EDC pen or in their estimation, an EDC pen is like a heavy duty, full brass or full stainless steel or titanium pen. Uh, but for me, it's just a pen that I actually carry every day. And out of all the pens I have, these are the ones I tend to grab on my way out or throw in my bag, whatever. So I just wanted to run through them in order of uh, cheapest to most expensive. First off, we have the Zebra Sarasa SE. This is the American version of the Sarasa Dry. It's just a really great uh, Pilot G2 alternative. Nice click, plastic body, good clip. Uh, you can Customize these a little bit because they only come at a 0.7 millimeter. I was able to put a 1.0 millimeter refill in there and kind of, I don't know, just got a really nice pen, good grip, comfortable hold. Just something that's great to have with you every day. Next pen I tend to grab is this Tradio. This is a, I believe a Pentel Energel Buddy. It's uh, just a really great shape. I think it's a very sharp looking pen. They're pretty affordable, maybe like three, four bucks. And uh, the best part about this pen is, it's a little hard to get off, but this is, uh, you can quite make out, the, it says O-H-T-O. -O. I was able to put a Oto ceramic refill in here. So now I have one of my favorite pen bodies with my favorite ceramic rollerball refill. Just a, just a killer combination. Next pen I tend to carry a lot is this. Uh, this is a Bolograph Epaca. This is a, uh, this, uh, I guess it's not steel, but this is the metal version uh, of their standard pen. Here's the standard classic one I, I really like, uh, but I upgraded it to this metal version and I changed the inside so that I could put a uh, Easy Flow 9000 refill in there as opposed to the standard one. The standard ones are fine if you're looking for a ballpoint. Uh, but I tend to write with the easy flow. So I thought that was a really nice upgrade. And this is just uh, probably the pen I'm carrying the most lately. Great click with easy flow. It's a great writer, pretty sharp looking, holds up well. Uh, other pen I carry a whole lot lately is this Zebra FXMD. And this is basically Zebra's take on the F 701 mod basically you can get the f701 which is like a four dollar pen that's 90 percent metal and make it all metal with some slight modifications uh but zebra went ahead and just released their own version of it and it's just a really great pen i actually like it more than the customized version it's got a nice click and then if you are looking for a more classic edc style pen uh this is it but it's full metal it got some heft to it and uh, it does, man, it's, it's tough to get off, but uh, it does use a, a ballpoint. I think I have a Fisher space pen refill in here. Uh, no, this one, I think actually uses the Zebra gel. Yeah, this is using the Zebra gel, but you can put a ballpoint in here. You can put the uh, Fisher space pen in here, which is a nice change. So again, the most classic sort of uh, EDC pen that I tend to use is the Zebra F-XMD. Pretty similar to the F701. I also really like this pen. This is the Jetstream Prime from Uniball or Uni. Uh, I believe these are sold in the US now. I had originally gotten this from like eBay and uh, from Japan. It's uh, They go for about maybe like $12 now. I think I got it for like 15. Uh, and just a really solid metal pen. Uh, it's a lot like the Sarasa Grand, but I actually prefer using this one lately. Uh, the blue is a little too sparkly for me, but I just try to ignore that because it's got a really great body. You use a Jetstream refill, which is a hybrid refill, but kind of acts like a rollerball. I mean, sorry, acts uh, kind of close to a ballpoint. And it's got a really silent click. 
and just a cool pen to have day to day. I like this one a whole lot. Lastly, and the most expensive pen that I tend to carry with me day to day is the re-released Rotring 600. These things are going for like $35, $36. Uh, full metal pen. I'm not sure if they're still brass, but full metal, good click. Really nice knurling at the top and bottom. Obviously very sharp, very classic looking. And then uh, pretty versatile on the refills. I think I just have the stock. Oh no, I have the Schmidt. Oh, no, sorry, I have the Visconti Smart Touch, which is like uh, just a really nice, really smooth roller, uh, you know, hybrid or roller ball. Wait, sorry, I believe it's a gel style refill in there, but you could also use a standard roller ball. And this is a killer pen to get that all metal. I wouldn't say this is super rugged, but it's rugged enough and uh, just a great to have with you day to day. Uh, just on my last note, uh, I'm sure people are gonna ask why have I moved away from the sort of heavier EDC pens. If you watch my last best EDC pen refill, they're all like big aluminum and brass pens. And you know, I just got tired of lugging around those and they're not comfortable having your pocket. If you ever drop them, then you're dropping like a $50 piece of brass, which is gonna, or a piece of, uh, brass or steel or titanium that's gonna scratch up and it's just kind of a bummer. Uh, you drop one of these and maybe you won't be thrilled, but uh, you don't feel too bad. And if you lose one of these, again, not too big of a deal. These are really great pens and uh, not something you have to worry too much about. Okay, thanks for watching.